Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. Today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys how to fix P0171 lean fuel mixture. The first and most common cause is going to be caused by a dirty mass airflow sensor. The mass airflow sensor is located right next to the air filter box. Remove the mass airflow sensor and check if it is dirty. If it is dirty, go ahead and use mass airflow sensor cleaner and clean it and that may actually fix the problem. The next common problem is going to be caused by a vacuum leak. A vacuum leak can occur right at the intake manifold gasket, it can occur right at the throttle body gasket, it can occur right at the vacuum hoses, it can occur right at the brake booster hose, it can even be caused by a stuck open PCV valve. First, check for vacuum leak right at the intake manifold gasket. For some vehicle, it might also come with an intake platinum, so check that as well. Next, check for bad fuel injector seals. If those seals are bad, it can also cause a vacuum leak. Next, check for vacuum leak right at the throttle body gasket. Next, check for vacuum leak right at the vacuum hose. If there are cracks on the vacuum hose, go ahead and replace the vacuum hose. Next, check for bad brake booster hose, check for bad brake booster check valve, also check for a bad brake booster as well. The next common problem is going to be caused by low fuel pressure. If fuel pressure is too low, this will cause a lean mixture. That means you're going to have too much air and too less fuel. Some of the common causes of low fuel pressure is going to be caused by clogged fuel filter. You can have a clog somewhere in your fuel injector. You can have a faulty fuel pressure regulator. You can have a failing fuel pump motor. You can have high resistance in a fuel pump wire causing low voltage going to the fuel pump motor. You can also have a clogged fuel pump strainer. And you can also have a leak somewhere in the fuel pump system. All of these will definitely cause low fuel pressure. The next common problem is going to be caused by a failing oxygen sensor. On some vehicle, it may be called air fuel ratio sensor. If you're getting oxygen sensor cold or air fuel ratio sensor cold, there's a pretty good chance that it may be causing a lean condition issue. The next common problem is going to be caused by a stuck open PCV valve. The quickest way to check for a bad PCV valve is to shake it and listen for that rattling noise. If you don't hear that rattling noise, that means the PCB valve is either in the uh, stuck open position or stuck closed position. If the PCB valve is in the stuck open position, this will cause a vacuum leak. And if it's stuck in the uh, closed position, this will cause increased blow by. The quickest way to fix a PCB valve that's either stuck in the open position or closed position is to use carburetor cleaner or door body cleaner and just clean the inside and this may help free it up and get that PCV valve working again. The next common problem is going to be caused by a bad MAP sensor rubber or rings or a leak somewhere at the vacuum hose going to the MAP sensor. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.